fire ignites passion and creativity. Free your imagination with the slim, sleek and beautiful new Huawei P8. Many labs now work on green chemistry, fewer toxins and better for the environment. But here's one you've probably never heard of, yellow chemistry. So because sulfur is yellow, we think of creating a whole new field basically from yellow chemistry or yellow plastics. Sulfur is uh, basically a waste product from petroleum refining, so there's tons of it around. With support from the National Science Foundation, chemist Jeff Pyon and his team at the University of Arizona are putting sulfur to work, making plastic batteries, even optical and imaging devices. He says oil and gas production generates 70 million tons of sulfur every year. Most of that goes to make sulfuric acid and fertilizer, but there's still millions of tons left over. Sulfur is really hard to work with. It's hard to do conventional chemistry with it, and so it's basically something that uh, nobody really wanted to invest in. And so just out of pure frustration, we basically had the idea, let's just melt this damn stuff, see what goes into it, and uh, sure enough, you know, that was really the, the key breakthrough for us. In the end, they mixed up an amazingly simple chemical recipe for sulfur-based plastic, and they can mold it into all sorts of things, toys, lenses, even a 45 record. They basically made a mold of this and basically made a sulfur record. <laughs> Lithium ion batteries currently power many of our electronics, but sulfur batteries could change that. Pyon imagines sulfur-based electric car batteries that would be lighter, cheaper, and hold four or five times the charge we've come to expect. But there's so many other applications that one found with this is just remarkable. It's opening up a whole new um, area of polymer chemistry. 